Hey you guys, welcome to another video. So I actually got this really cool video idea from my friend Kara. Hey girl, she actually has a YouTube channel right down, I'll put it right down below. Anyway, so she gave me this idea to do 25 things I've learned by 25. So I'm just gonna go right into the questions. Um, one, know who God is for you. There's a lot of people who's gonna give you, your, give you their opinion on who they think God is and who God should be in your life. But always make sure you know like who God is for yourself. Two, prayer is key. Enough said, nothing else to add to that. Find creative ways to read your Bible, whether it's, you know, having, buying a new Bible, highlighting, whatever. Find ways that inspire you to read the Word of God, and even if it's like apps and stuff like that, just find what works for you. Um, what you put in is what you get out. I cannot express that enough in your workplace, in your school, in your personal life. Like. If there's anything that you feel like you're not doing well in, then really evaluate and say, am I putting in what I'm getting out of it? Pray before you speak. Definitely, definitely, definitely. When there's conflict with friends, family, whoever, make sure that you are praying about the situation first before you speak on it because I'm telling you, you do not want your emotions and all that to come into play. School is not free anymore, okay? So for all you guys who are in high school and you're like, well, I'm just gonna go to college and this, 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 like there comes a point in time in your education that it ain't for you. It, it might not be costing you money, it's costing you time where you can be working and doing something else. So school is not free. And bills, is something that high schoolers and a lot of young adults underestimate. They're a real thing, okay? So that was something I had to learn the hard way. Um, look at the gas tank before you start driving. I am the worst at looking at it. One day I'll just see I'm on E and I'm like, what the heck just happened, you know? Look at your gas tank. <laughs> um, adults, they, you think after high school they grow up, that is not always the truth, okay? They sometimes act the same little silly ways that they do in high school, they do when they're an adult. It's up to you as an individual to break those habits, you know? Break a lot of the habits that you have in high school while you're in high school so when you're an adult, you can be a legit adult and not an actual child who is now 35 years old. Um, so, facial products, I cannot express Washing your face is not enough. You need to tone, exfoliate, moisturize. I know that seems like a lot of work. There is other products that are a lot cheaper out there, but I'm telling you, you will see a huge difference in your face once you start adding more steps to your facial routine. Um, coupons, never settle for just whatever the store tells you it is. Either wait for it to go on sale or find some coupons to get what you want because the truth is that things are gonna go on sale later or there's a coupon out there that can save you more money. So always look for your coupon. Better quality things over quantity. I'm telling you, it's so much better to have a shirt or shoes or whatever that's gonna last you so much longer than to just stick to a having five of the same color shoes but then in like five months they're gone versus having one good quality shoe that you have for five years, you know? So quality over quantity. You are a product of your own environment. I remember growing up, I always had my room really cute and you know, new bed sheets, just whatever it is. Don't just allow your space just to be a space, but you know, pizzazz it up, make it super cute, and um, you know, just make it a reflection of your personality because when you come from the outside world, you want a home and you want a place that, um, or a room, or whatever it is that you have your side of the room. You know, you want it to be very comfortable, you want it to be very nice and pleasing, so this way you can go out into the real world and be happy, you know, be inspired because of your home. All right, so love changes things. The love of God changes things. You showing love changes things. Never underestimate the power of love. Insecurities never go away. Now, there's certain things that you grow from, like there's certain insecurities that you might have that you kind of grow from that, but always some kind of insecurity always comes up. People might not want to admit that, but 
it's the truth. There's things I never thought I was insecure about and then at like 23 I was insecure about it. And then I got over it, and then at 25 I'm insecure about something else. They never go away but you have to learn how to deal with them. Your feelings are just feelings. So a lot of times we get our feelings hurt, a lot of times things happen and we're in our feelings. I guess you can say, just remember that those are just feelings, those are just emotions and you have to pray and ask God to cover you, cover your emotions. All right, ne le never let anyone belittle your feelings. Don't let somebody say that, oh, so you, that hurt your feelings, so you know, you're you know you're just a baby or a cry baby or just whatever like no your feelings are justified so i know that kind of contradicts in a way but what i'm trying to say is don't let your feelings take over your decision making but also know and say you know what maybe i'm feeling this way for a reason and try to find the root cause of that let god fight your battles um i have learned this so much that there's so many things that we want to put ourselves into it's not worth it. Just let God do that for you. No matter how hard I try, I'll probably always look 17. Um, and you know what? I've come to grips. That's okay. <laughs> friends, another thing. Quality over quantity. It's not a big deal whether you have 100 friends or not. It's all about the type of friends that you do have. Forgive. Forgive friends. Forgive family. Even forgive yourself. It's so important to forgive. It's okay to disappoint. It's okay to disappoint others. It's even okay to disappoint yourself, but you have to learn from those disappointments. Communication is key. Communication with God, communication with your boyfriend, husband, you know, fiance, communication, and communication with your family and friends. You know, that's what's gonna keep a strong relationship. And it's okay to want to be by yourself sometimes. Um, I had to learn that the hard way. Um, I'm not always this uppity people person. Sometimes I just want to be by myself and I shouldn't have to feel bad about it. You know, it's okay. Well, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you next time.